In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a split screen effect like this one or this one if you prefer. So yeah, let's dive in. All right guys, so right here, uh, I have a two video, one's vertical, one's horizontal. Just know that um, vertical video is gonna work easier for 60 by nine. So I'm just gonna start with the horizontal video to show how to do the split screen effect. All right guys, so right now I'm just gonna take a part of this video. Anyway, let's just start here when you point the finger, right? Points the finger and then she start dancing. Okay, and yeah. Yeah, let's let's have it like that. So we have a video right here. So we do the timeline. And right here, uh, let's see. This is seven seconds. Exactly seven seconds. Wow, that's amazing. So to do the split screen effect, we have to duplicate our video three times because we're gonna split it like three three way split. It is wise to have the the top track video to be the middle one. We're gonna go to effects and we're gonna go to video collage. Open effects and we're gonna drop drag and drop the video collage into our first our top video right here. We're gonna disable the bottom track first. So let's look at this one. Let's go to effect create tile and then we're gonna have three columns there you go and then just to let you see let's copy let's copy this okay hold on. let's copy this and then we're gonna paste attribute right here apply and then we're gonna keep it a tile right there so right here you're almost done so we're just gonna need a little bit more adjustment. Let's go back to our track tree effects, and then we're gonna go to the roundings. Maybe let's cancel the round. Let's zero out all the roundings. Left right margin. Let's zero them out. Horizontal spacing. Zero them out. And then we're gonna copy. Right click, copy, and then select this two and paste attributes apply and then enable them again and then let's go back in and <clears throat> give them the appropriate tile so this is gonna be tile 2 actually this is the middle tile and then this is the tile number one and this is tile number three There you go. Now we got a big screen video. Now the reason why we want to make our our top track right here to be the middle one, and that is because we can add effects easily if we want to. So let's say we want to remove this background instead. So let's go to effects and remove the video collage, and then we can. And right now, let's try to remove the background for the top track let's go here and then this time we're gonna use we're gonna go to our magic mask we're gonna select our subject okay we got our head on selected let's select the body okay we good okay we got our head and we got our subject selected let's track it back and forth She's moving very fast and it is, it is very cool that our AI Magic Mask can mask, can keep up with the trackings. So AI yeah, Magic Mask is really, really powerful right here. So right now we have our subject tracked. Let's go back here and we're gonna create an alpha output. And then we're gonna link and let's close this. So right now we have our subject tracked very, very nicely. Okay, and then we're gonna du duplicate again. And then for our tr video track three, we're gonna bring back our background. 
and then track four. Let's, let's track four. Let's track again for our track four. Actually, let's go back to our timeline. So track four, which is our top track, we have our background removed, and then video three is the one we have background with. And then let's bring back collage effect. Copy this and then paste attribute. Apply. You kind of know what I'm going with this right now. And then let's let's have it our track video three. Give it a tile number two. Yeah, we need that background tile number two. Now we don't need to do our we don't need to do collage for our track four because we want it to be there. And then we will edit back this. Now we see the effect. It's kind of how the effect goes. Okay, this is the split screen effect. So yeah, guys, that is the split screen effect. This is a fast and easy one. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for more DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I will be posting video every week. So if you guys want more tutorial, just leave it down in the comment box down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.